Let's make some lunch for my kids. Today I made rainbow waffles. I'm adding that to the bento box. I have dragon fruit here and I'm using my melon baller, making little cute balls of dragon fruit and adding that to our side tray. Next I have some mango steen. You just peel the outer layer and inside is the fruit. Kinda looks like garlic, but they're a little slimy and squishy, but they're really good. So if you get a chance to try them, they're my mom's favorite. I added some cherries. Now for some grapes, I'm making my zigzag cuts around the middle. Adding the grapes in and that is it for our fruit. And a little set of protein, some pistachio nuts. And now for the note I'm writing, if you ever forget how much you really mean to me, every day I will remind you. And these are song lyrics from Bruno Mars. Folding the note up, adding a heart sticker to it. And that is it. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Hi friends, I'm back. Let's make lunch together. Today, Bentley's gonna get some cute little cherry tomatoes with these adorable little fruit picks that I ordered. They are made for fruits and veggies and I just think they look adorable. For fruit today, he's gonna get strawberries. I cut some into that um, fun flower star that he likes. He calls them Hawaiian fruit when I do that. And for his main lunch, he's going to get some sushi today. So I'm gonna pack him some salmon sushi with gluten-free soy sauce. You'll notice I'm actually using a new bento box. It's called a biz box. It locks a lot easier. So this will be easy for him to put away at lunchtime. For dry snacks, he's gonna get gluten-free pretzel rods with some plantain chips and his favorite uh, sweet treat, a uh, birthday cake, Rice Krispie treat. I hope everyone's been having a wonderful week at school. Let's go. Is bento making a hobby or how I make a living? It is just a hobby. I'm a social worker by day, but that being said, I do welcome any sponsorships that come my way. Cut one slice of whole wheat bread and one slice of white bread into four pieces and stack it in the main compartment of the lunchbox. Do the same thing with a slice of cheese and a slice of meat. Fill the first side compartment with a variety of your kids' favorite vegetables. Spoon hummus into the second side compartment. Kids love when there's dips for fruits and vegetables. Finish with some decorative food picks and let your kids build their sandwich however they want. For my husband's lunch today, I gave him some leftover japchae, which is some Korean noodles from the other night, a little caprese salad for the side, and also these spicy pistachios, which are super good. They're our favorite. I also cut up a simple protein bar and added that in. For his main portion of the meal, I'm going to make some egg salad sandwiches. I went ahead and cut up the hard-boiled eggs and added in some Kewpie mayo, which is the Japanese version of mayo, my favorite, and then some simple seasonings. I went ahead and laid in some lettuce so that the bread doesn't get too soggy on one side. I trimmed up the edges just so that they fit into the bento a little bit better. I also include a Korean baked sweet potato on the side. That's one of my husband's favorites. And here's Bouncer, my dog, coming in for some scraps. I went ahead and packed everything up and included a little note to remind him that I love him. For my husband's lunch today, I'm going to start by packing in these freshly picked strawberries my husband and I got at Tonaka Farms. I cut them up. I am also going to include Ritz crackers with cream, cheese, and this habanero jam we got at the farm as well. So delicious. Moving on to the main portion. I am making mini kimbap which is like Korean sushi. First I cut up some carrots and pickled radish. I cooked some spam and prepared my rice with sesame oil and salt. I tightly rolled each one. I rubbed some sesame oil onto the mini kimbap. I placed them into the box so they would fit nicely. Sprinkle with sesame seeds. I included a side of soy sauce for dipping. Now that everything is ready to go I pack it all away and include a love note for my husband to tell him I love him. Let's make lunch together. Today Bentley is going to get a strawberry and jumbo blueberry salad. I don't know if you've had the chance to have jumbo blueberries when they're in season, but they're so delicious. He really enjoys them. The carton rarely makes it from the store to my house. And so I know he'll enjoy this and definitely it won't come back to me. 
Gonna add in a panda pick so he can go ahead and eat that without his fingers. Kinda was hard to get him to stay, but eventually he did. Next, I'm gonna add some cucumbers and add some eyeballs because he's an eight-year-old boy and finds that really funny when he opens his lunchbox. I'm also going to give him some leftover heart-shaped pears that I had from yesterday. Those were also a hit and got eaten, so I figured why not. Last night we had a movie night and I made homemade gluten-free oatmeal raisin cookies, so packing one of those as his sweet in his lunchbox today. And on to the dry snacks. He's gonna get seaweed snacks again because those are a favorite, not sure how he doesn't get tired of them, and some caramel rice cakes. I'm also gonna pack him some veggie straws and a thermos on the side. I know a lot of you were concerned it's not enough substance. So here I am packing the thermos with halal chicken and rice. I also serve it with a side of halal white sauce. It's a big hit in my house. So let's go to camp, guys. Thanks for watching.